right, today we are looking for Varget. There she is, in all her glory. All right, so I just got the caliper set up. Uh, I measured uh, old load, which I already knew what it was, but I always go back and measure just to make sure everything's legit. So it's 2.236 ogive or augive or augive or whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're all dialed with our 43 grains. Uh, I just, I set it up for 43, just type in 43, you hit dispense. <laughs> 43 grains. So we can do this with. Precision. Sketchy. Set it in there, run it up a little bit. Grab one of these beautiful 168 grain burger VLDs. Drop it in our bullet window. Run it up and locked. So we're looking for 2.236. Let's see if we got it. 2.236. Nailed it. All right, last one. Hang out with your buddies. It is five in the morning on Saturday. I am getting ready to paint a gong target so we can go shoot Carrie's rifle this morning and get it all validated. Send a couple rounds across the canyon this morning. Should be fun. All right, so we have 540 yards worth of canyon here. Carrie just got this. Uh, piece of play it's not ar but it's something similar the guy Some said kind of super yeah or steel it's 88 pounds so it's heavy but it makes a lot of noise and we kind of ran out of paint Definitely. we should still be able to see where we hit pretty easy though we're gonna send a couple rounds across the canyon we don't have a whole lot of time today this evening we're gonna cruise up to eugene to the uh elevation fitness trainings um Full draw fitness, I believe is what they're calling. Fitness on. Yep. So mm -hmm. we're gonna meet up with uh, Michael from Ragged Ridge up there, and we're gonna meet up with uh, Nick from Northwest Meat Hunter. So should be a good day. Uh, I also got a couple Easter egg hunts I gotta attend in the middle of the day. So yeah, yeah. Fun-filled, packed day. Carrie P, walk me through this situation. Why are we doing this? What are you doing? What's going on? Well, this here rifle has given me quite the amount of problems over the years. We have tried to load the problems out of this rifle. That's not going to work. No, it's not. There's not a bullet in it. That one will. This one, one should do. That one will do. This one should do just dandy. Okay. But, uh, all right, so we're shooting uh, factory loaded ammo right now. Dude, instead all of factory. Which is fine. If it works, it works. We're going to run it. Mm-hmm. 539 they say mine says 541 but they all have the fancy gear so we'll just go with their go with the fanciest of yeah, the fancy we'll go with their situation so and we're, we're at 7.5 7.5 all right you tell me when you're getting close to send mode you're in about full send mode you're in full send okay dude money you're about Five inches to the left of the bowl. Elevation solid. Is it dinner time? I heard a bell. Was it loud? Yeah. yeah it was kind of loud. Yes. I don't see where that one's at. Is it grouped? Yeah, I think it's touching that last shot. Gas station. We just stopped and got gas in Canyonville. Um, the old Don't truck see. is actually doing spectacular it's pretty, much, it's pretty much a prius i did get pretty good mileage to canyon though which isn't very far from where we live but i still feel confident that it's just pretty much a prius same thing very similar it's like a lifted prius yeah yeah but we're on our way up to the elevation fitness training which is called full draw fitness meeting up with the brood outdoors mr daniel he's gonna be up there again also nick from Northwest Meat Hunter is going to be up there, and uh, Mr. Michael from Ragged Ridge. So, hey -o. got a full house. It's going to be fun. I feel terrible, but everybody else feels super, I guess. So that's good. good that for is you. good. Good for you, dude. Good for you. You may feel terrible, but you look fantastic. <laughs> you look fantastic. 
So, as we're leaving Grants Pass, oh. a friend of mine, a friend of mine says, Hey Sage, which is my name. And uh-huh. I said, yeah, friend of mine. And he said, you're going to hate me. And I said, I doubt it. Turns out he was right. Yeah. An archery fitness trick, very specific narrow archery arch- as in bow, bows, arrows. We're on the freeway. Yes. He forgot his bow. I look back. I mean, his friend looked back. Yeah, his friend, my friend, Sage's friend. Seeing that Sage, this guy, had a bow with a quiver full of arrows. Almost like him a bow hunter that brings bows places. In the back seat. Yeah. And then his friend was like, shoot. <laughs> shoot darn. Shoot dang. I don't have one of those. Bad job. Yeah. yeah bad job. I did a bad job. But yeah, we're on our way. We're going to go... Uh, do the thing, do the workouts and the bow shoots. Should be good. Got a t-shirt for Nick. And yeah, ah man, Daniel, I am so sorry, dude. I did a bad job and I totally forgot that Arrow Fletcher. I'm supposed to bring it to my Arrow Fletcher to Daniel and (laughs) I set it aside and it was there and I was there. And then I must have known Carrie was gonna do a bad job because I too did a bad job. It's like we're synced up. Yeah, I did a bad job. I'm sorry. I did a bad job. I still gotta text you. You don't even know. Yeah. Right now you're probably all excited. But that makes me a bad person. By the time he sees this, he will have got the text message. That's true. Yes. Just see how sad I am right now. Our bad. Do you know what's kind of heavy right now? The this, feeling in this truck. This GoPro. Did you say a GoPro's heavy? Dude. For when it's extended for. I feel like we're gonna have to cut that out. Five minutes extension. So we just got to Bowtech and Mr. Michael, Ragged Ridge himself, oh, showed up, fling some arrows, do some working out. I feel like I'm gonna die during this workout session today, but that's okay. Carrie. Season's pursuit Hey-o. showed up. Oh, and he brought his bow after we forgot it. Yeah, that's okay though. We got it. Yeah. We got Daniel here with the Brood Outdoors again to wreck What's shop. Up, guys? That's right. Redemption time. Redemption time. What kind of Redemption setup time. is this? Look at these fancy hey, things. It's the end of the year. I need to get in some new arrows. Dude, those are blinging though. Get and, on with the old gold sticks. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, if it can't survive a fall off the top of your truck, what good is it in the back country? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Should I flex? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Get the good side. Seriously, which side's your good side? Because I can, I can compensate with this one. I like this one, the tatted tatted side, yeah. You got so much work into that side, it's a shame not to. Get it. Okay, Pete, you got it? Oh, the one hand. We are scouting. Not scouting, it's spring bear season, we're hunting. It's pretty early in the year though, there's not a lot of green going anywhere. All of these should have quite a bit of green on them by the time the bears really start popping out. So he's he's really getting after the scouting. <laughs> it's about two o'clock, opening day of spring bear season. Went to church this morning, and uh, now we're looking for bears. A couple more cuts we're gonna check. Mostly we're looking for where bears are gonna be. It's just test day. Test day. This is this. Sorry, this is Michael. How you say your last name? Myrie. No, that's not a real name. It's not Yuri. It's not his re. It's my re. Okay. Michael Myrie, Mr. Ragged Ridge, for those of you on social media. I'm not sure how it's going to do. See how it's shaking all around? We need to get that. Uh, uh, the, the gimbal. Not a gimbal. That's different. What's that? That's the one that you hang the deer from once it's dead. It's oh, got, you're right. It's got R in there. It's I don't like, see. Uh, are you going to like try to pack out animals and stuff? Like all. Uh, I was going to leave it down there. We pack out everything. That is usable. There's a quail. You're not gonna, like, you can't eat the bones. You're gonna leave the bones. I'm leaving the bones. Man. Bone it out every single time. Gutless method. Bone them out. So I am a bone out kind of guy. 
Okay, but also I do know uh -huh. that right. your meat will my meat will taste better, better and be less tough. Less tough. If it has time to age on the bone stretched out. As soon as you cut the meat off the bone, it constricts and it'll be more tough. Anything you boned out will be tougher meat, in my experience in stuff that you brought back the whole leg bone and you hung the whole hind quarter up on the bone. Can I interject? Yeah. I'm a tough guy. <laughs> so you want tough meat? I like tough meat. <laughs> I want to chew my meat. <laughs> I want to chew. I want to know I'm eating I don't meat. want liquid milkshake meat. That's right. That's for sissy pansies. Yep. The brand new GoPro gimbal that I just got called the Karma Grip. We really don't have any reason to be filming anything, but I wanted to use it so bad. We're gonna go fling some arrows at some of these targets and maybe film it in a gimbally way, as gimbally as possible. Whoa. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this week. Carrie's rifle yes. was not shooting so hot for the last couple months, so he took Dude, a different for the route. last year. Yeah. Last spring bear season when we started off with problems. So he did some loading. I did some purchasing of just regular rounds. Which is and, hard to uh, get. Very hard to get. It's uh, been a year since I've been able to finally find some, the right rounds. And uh, turns out, man, it was shooting awesome. Better than any hand loads we tried. So Yeah, turns out you can just buy them. <laughs> yeah, just cut out all the work. Yeah, he was getting he was getting some pretty tight groups out at 540, which is what our mm -hmm. our basic canyon shot. We just kind of do most of our testing up there. It's a 540 yard shot. It's about level. There's really no incline or decline, so um, it's a pretty good spot to shoot. We do have a left to right wind that we kind of mm -hmm. deal with. It simulates uh, regular spring yeah. bear hunting, anyway. That's real life. Yeah. yeah. That evening we headed up to. Uh, elevation Fitness Trainings, mm -hmm. Full Draw Fitness. I uh, met some cool people. Met Michael from Ragged Ridge. The first time met uh, Daniel from Brood Outdoors. And then Stephen and Courtney. They were super cool. They hosted it. Nick from the Northwest Meat Hunter was up there. Awesome dude. Didn't get to... <laughs> oh, yeah. To right. Totally messed up. We we're supposed to go out to eat afterwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I is my fault. I totally messed that up. We went to the place that they told us to go. Pulled in the parking lot, I'm driving, and I looked around and I was like, this isn't where we went last time. Guys, we're in the wrong spot. So I literally drove us to the next city over. Right place, wrong time? Did a bad job. Right. Uh, I ordered last week a gimbal for the GoPro. We have a, we actually have a couple GoPros. We have Hero 5s. And they can be an awesome asset or they can just be something that you don't use because you suck at it. And we're kind of the don't use because you suck at it guys. So... We, or I ordered a gimbal last week. I just got it yesterday, and uh, the end of this video, you see us just running around using it, testing it out. It was test day, as Michael likes to call it. So test day went awesome, had a ton of fun. We should be seeing some uh, big improvements in just basic uh, camera fundamentals for what we're going to do with our GoPro, uh, getting some of the shake out of it and start using some more stability. So very excited about that. And uh, spring bear season fired started. up. Started. Yes. Spring bear started. Yes. Should be good. So it's going to start hopping here pretty soon. We'll keep you posted. We're actually going to be filming spring bear season and uh, just kind of vlogging in between. So you should see a lot of what goes on. Mm -hmm. But Ooh, Should we bring up hats? Hats, yes. Hats is going to be a thing. Yes, it is going to be a thing. Uh, we have proofs. 
in email form right now. Yes, got a couple so, proofs, mm-hmm. and then uh, once we uh, finally give them the go ahead, we're gonna have uh, about fifteen or so hats ready. Yep, in the and, next week or two. Yep, roughly. And we're gonna do a t-shirt giveaway. Stay tuned for mm-hmm. that. I'm probably gonna post that on Instagram. So stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching our channel. If you like our stuff, please subscribe and like, and we'll keep posting content. Blah, blah, blah.